guys so excited about this. It's time for our go to school with Fox 5. And today we are turning it over to our talented meteorologist, Sam Argier. But we aren't learning about the weather or science. Instead, we are talking music. Sam, this is so amazing. First of all, tell us a little bit about your musical background. You are super talented. Oh, well, thanks, Marie. I appreciate you saying that. Um, I'm, I'm, I've never been a piano teacher, but I, I took lessons from about 8 to 18 when I was a kid. And then over the last couple of years, I've gotten back into piano quite a bit. So we're in the lobby, and I thought I'd give a little piano lesson as we go back to school. So we're going to learn something cool today. I know some of you might know chopsticks. But we're going to learn a little chord progression. And first things first, let's talk about some tips when you get to the piano. And even if you're at home and you don't have a full-size piano, maybe even have a little keyboard that maybe your kids have and they play with, that's going to work too with this. So the first thing we're going to do is you want to make sure you sit up straight, shoulders relaxed, and you want to have good posture when you're at the piano. Another thing too is you kind of want your elbows a little bit above the keys. You see I'm kind of sitting up above the keys. That helps when you're playing these different chords and, and uh, music notes. Another thing too is you want good finger posture as well. You don't want to play the keys flat like this. You want to have a little curve to your fingers like that. So when you play the keys, that's another good tip as you uh, sit to the piano. So if you've never played before, here's what we're going to learn today. We're going to learn a little chord progression. It goes like this. Here's what it's going to sound like when we're done. That's it. Now you can do a lot of fun stuff with that, different rhythms, but today we're going to learn the right hand. When I join you again later this week, we'll learn the left hand and then we'll put it all together. So here's what we're going to do. I know when you sit down at the piano, there's 88 keys. It can be kind of intimidating, but if you look at the piano, there's actually what we call seven different octaves. And if you look at the pattern of the black keys, we're not going to play any black keys today in the chord progression, but the black keys are our reference point. If you look at the middle of the piano, you're going to see two black keys and then three black keys. Look for that left black key in the group of two and then go down one key. That is middle C. Everything's kind of based around middle C. I want you to put your thumb there. Your two finger, your index finger will be on the next key. That's D. We'll go up to E, F, and then G. So we're not going to move from this position right here. So we're going to play these three notes. We're going to start with our middle finger on E. We're going to go. And then we're going to use our four finger or our ring finger. And then we're going to go to our index finger. And then back to our middle finger. So uh, Practice that at home, we'll go. And then when you add it with the left hand, which we'll do next week, you get some really pretty chords. We'll go to F, and then we're going to G. That's actually a G7 sus4 chord, but you don't need another theory. So that is the start. We're going to learn more as we go throughout the week ahead, but um, that's your first little piano lesson. Rachel and Maria, we'll send it back to you. Sam, I've been doing, we've heard of air guitar, I'm doing air piano. So thank you so much. This is so exciting. I we love will, it. We will make sure to post this you, on our more Facebook page. Yeah, and I'm going to play you guys out, okay? Okay, do it. Okay, well now he's just showing up. <laughs> so, I kid, I kid. 